Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, you. Okay, good. Excellent. Ready? Ready. Okay, good. So we're almost... Well, we're about to start. We have uh, five people already in. So we'll see if another one comes in in the following minutes. Okay. okay. <laughs> how, are, how was your day, Veronica? Veronica? How was your day? Oh, but how do you say it? so hard? Huh? How do you say? Very busy. Okay, very busy. It was a busy day, okay? A lot of, a lot of work. A lot of work, yeah. Okay, very good. Excellent. A crazy, uh, crazy job. <laughs> <laughs> but the coronavirus is oh, crazy oh, day. Yes, yes, yes. Today they, they have suspended classes, right? For 21 days. Yeah. Yeah. 21 days. Yes, 21 days. It's too much time. For the, the, too much time for the students. Exactly, uh -huh, yeah. Because, you know, they, they are going to... And the university to, too. University, English, English academies, everything that has to do with education stops. Except, except the classes online, right? Because yeah. the coronavirus is not a virtual virus. <laughs> <laughs> really, the virtual yeah. virus not calling. <laughs> so we have no, problem, yeah. no no physical contact here, okay? Hey, Gio, how are you, Gio? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Good how to see you. you. Hi, Gio. Hi. Okay, good. Fine. How was your How was your day, Gio? Uh, very busy. Okay. Uh, it was okay. But okay, good. That's nice, you know. I mean, if we're busy, that means that we have work. If we have work, you yeah. know, we have, we have money. If we have money, we pay, we pay the, den, the debts, right? Yeah. We pay the yeah. bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, we never have money, actually, you know. The money yeah. always comes to your pocket, and then the, mon the bank takes it back. Yeah, same the okay, same good. Same. And <laughs> we have also Claudia. Claudia is here, too. How are you, Claudia? <laughs> Good night, fine. Hello, Thanks. how was your day? Good? And good, but very busy and preoccupied for the viruses affect my my work. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, yes, you know, this coronavirus is going to affect uh, a lot of things, right? It, uh, you know, in our house, because of the children, if you have to take them to they have to stay home and then... Uh, if you are a teacher, then after you have to replace classes, it, I mean, it's, a, it's complicated, right? Okay, good. Well, anyways, then uh, let's get started with the class. Uh, please mute, mute your microphones, right, so that we can avoid the interference with the, with the sounds. Okay, and then we have, we choose the first one. Okay. This is a time to remember, right? And the last one we saw was the video. So we have lesson objective six. Okay, this is the one. Okay. So then we have here. Okay, Gio, can you please help me reading this uh, lesson objective here, please? Okay. Uh, build. English conversational skills with this lesson and past tense questions. Practice forming past tense questions using the verb to be by asking a person about his or her background. For example, you will be able, were you born in this city? Where, where were you born? When were you born? And how, 
were you when you came to this country? At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to ask and answer yes or no questions and WH questions using was and where. Okay. If you see in the first, uh, the first two days, we've been, um, uh, let's say, uh, making sentences, affirmative, negative, some uh, yes, no questions, okay? But these ones are WH questions using was, using where, and probably we will also combine it with uh, using did, okay? But let's see the, the video and listen to the information they have and after we can discuss it. Yes and no questions okay, so and WH questions using the verb to be in the This is the one that we saw yesterday, right? Pass. For example, you'll be able to ask the following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? So we're going to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the verb to be, either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was. And whenever we talk about the pronouns, we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. Now, let's try to make sense of the different types of questions that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about yes or no questions. And that will be the second one that you see there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sense of that question and then we're going to practice making a few. So um, let me start by writing down a formula. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to include will be the verb to be. And I'm going to go ahead and color this in, let's say, uh, green. I'm going to go ahead and color this subject in, let's say, red. And the complement, I'm going to go ahead and color that in something um, different. I'm going to go ahead and use, um, I'm going to go ahead and use blue this time, right? Um, and so let's do the following. Uh, let me uh, write down uh, the uh, uh, the verb to be here, and then this is going to follow the subject. And after this, this will follow the complement. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors there. Okay. All right, there we go. So in order for us to make questions in the past using the verb to be, what we're going to do is we're going to use the verb to be in the past, either was or where. And I mentioned that we need to recall uh, this rule that we learned in our previous lesson in order to understand that. Then this follows the subject. And then this will follow whatever compliment that you want to ask. So if we look at our example here, were you born in Buenos Aires? And the answer to this question will be, yes, I was. That will be the short answer. Um, and the negative response will be, no, I wasn't. And of course, this will vary depending on the pronoun. Let's say that I changed the subject now. And let's say that now I want to ask about he. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to recall that whenever we use the pronoun he, we're going to use the verb to be was. So therefore, we'll say, was he born in China? And of course, we also need to recall that um, here we can um, use names instead of the pronoun. So was Mary born in China? Was Peter born in China, etc. cetera? 
So what I want to do now is I want to talk about creating WH questions. And in order for us to create WH questions, we're pretty much are going to follow the same pattern. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this previous rule here. And the only difference that we're going to have in creating WH questions is that I'm going to write some sort of WH word. And what are those WH words? Well, you can see the example that we have on this little chart. We're going to use WH words such as where, who, what, when, why, etc. That's what we mean by uh, WH words. And so that is what's going to uh, be included at the very beginning. And everything else will pretty much stay the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color it's differently just to make sure that we know what's happening there. So let me do that right now. Okay, there we go. So we're going to have some sort of WH work and then that's going to follow the verb to be in the past. Uh, then it's going to follow the subject and then whatever complement that exists. So if we look at our example, where were you born? Right. So there we let me write the same one there where the verb to be. Oops. And then this is going to follow the subject. And then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH question. And WH question simply means information questions, if you will. Also, if you want to look at them that way. What I would like for you to do now is to practice the concept that we just learned. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post some questions here for you. And I would like for you to answer these questions and come up with as many others that you possibly can. Try to make those yes or no questions or WH questions. Learn. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to post some questions here for you. And I would like for you to answer these questions. Okay, so these are you know, some uh, yes-no questions. Were you a good student in high school? Remember that the idea when you have this uh, structure, first, first you have to is to practice the 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 grammar uh, structure, the order of the words, but also to practice more vocabulary, right? So that you can um, probably just uh, substitute some words from here with other words. For example, were you a good uh, basketball player in high school? Okay. Were you, uh, let's say, um, a good, uh, let's say, uh, a good what? A good uh, waiter in the restaurant? Okay, were you a good uh, brother when you were a little child? Okay, also questions like who was your hero when you were a child? Okay, this is something more common, right? Who was your hero when you were a child? How old were you in 1999? Okay, in 1999, I was like two years old, more or less, right? Just for you to have an idea. Okay, so I was, I was a little kid, okay, plus 20, maybe, no, plus 30 more, right? <laughs> okay, good. Now, see those questions, and let's see how many more questions we can ask. Let's practice first with the one in the middle. Who was your hero when you were a child? Okay, anybody can give me that answer? Who was your hero? when you were a child? My hero was uh, my father. Yes, usually, usually, you know, our father is our hero when we are children, right? So then, yes, my, my actually my hero was, was my father too, right? Ronnie, who was your hero? The Wonder Woman? <laughs> no. No. It was my father too. Okay. Well, what is a what is a hero? Who can give me the in your own words? Oh, what for, is a hero? for example, for example, the hero 
in the in the tombs is uh -huh. a messenger robot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And what is a role model? Role model. Uh -huh. A role model. What is a role model? It's, it's like a person a role that you admire. admire. Hey, who? Veronica? It's a person that um, I admire. For example, when I, when I was a child, I wanted to be like my mother, for example. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay. So a role. A role model is a person um, that, for example, that you follow because... You know, it has good, uh, good manners, a good, atti uh, good attitude, and then you want to be like that person, okay? So that is a role model. It's also a person that you admire, okay? So for example, you can also use who was your role model when you were a child. For example, you know, when I was a child, uh, my role model was a Sylvester Stallone, you know, Rocky One. <laughs> Okay, because, uh, you know, because of the exercise, I liked to go to the gym, right? And then uh, when I saw the movies of this, uh, of this man, you know, I got, you know, uh, motivated, okay? To go to the gym, not to box, okay? Because I was not good at boxing, but I was motivated to go to the gym, do exercise, jog, run, and do exercise, right? So that was my role model, not my hero. Okay, but my favorite hero, my favorite hero, hero was, you know, Superman in those days, right? Good. Okay, then uh, who was your, probably, who was your hero when you were a child? Anybody else? Diego? Can you, would you like to share, would you like to share? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, when I was a child, I, I remember that my school mother, Model was uh, Ronaldinho. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, because uh, he, he, he was he, he was a, a good player, and also I I wanted to be like him. Okay. Okay, but now but now he's he's in prison, right? He's not a role model. <laughs> okay. But he's still an excellent player, right? He's still an excellent player. Yes, Ronaldinho, the best player for me. Good. Okay, Carlos, Carlos Alvarenga. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, would you like to I'm share? Fine. fine, good. Would you like to share who who was your favorite hero hero when you were a child? Okay, my my favorite hero is uh, Iron Man. Okay, was in fact and when you were a child? Excuse uh, me? When you were a child in the past, who was your favorite, uh, let's say, of your hero when you were a child? Uh, I don't understand, teacher. Okay, the same thing. You said that your favorite hero is uh, Iron Man, right? But yeah. in the past tense, my See. favorite hero oh. was, was oh. Iron Man, oh, right? Okay. Uh, okay. My, my my favorite hero was uh, Iron Man. Iron Man, okay, Iron Man, that's correct. Good, excellent. I, I, Iron Man. Iron, Iron. Okay, thanks, teacher. All right, good, excellent. Okay, and Mauricio, who was your favorite hero? Uh, my favorite hero was Goku. Goku, okay, good. Well, yeah. You see, when, when I hear your answers, I can imagine your age, right? So imagine that my, my favorite hero was probably Pelé. Okay, imagine. <laughs> Long time ago, right? So then, and after that came Ronaldinho and all the others. Okay, good. Then, uh, now uh, I want you to see these two questions. And who wants to ask a question to the group? Similar to this. Not exactly the same, but you can use another idea. I don't know if uh, Veronica, you could ask a different question, or Ronnie, anybody? Similar to this? Were you a good work? Okay. Were you a good brother or sister when you were a child? 
Okay, that's a good question. Okay, were you a good brother or sister when you were a child? <laughs> okay, Gio, you you smi you're smiling. Huh? <laughs> Why? Uh, because I think I don't. I wasn't. She always was fighting. <laughs> okay, then you were a good brother. Okay. Yeah. No, we really can, now, now we carry each other, but in that time we always were fighting. <laughs> okay, we, you always fought. Okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But that's normal. That's normal, right? Okay. What did you say about you, Veronica? Uh, I think that I, I, I was a, a, a something good sister, but I fight with my my sister too. Okay, yes. Well, in my case, you know, I think I was I was a good brother, but we always have you know some uh, fights or arguments too. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, anybody else? Another question? An answer? Volunteer, volunteers. Eduardo, do you have a question? Um, I have a question. Okay, for example, Mauricio, can you ask a question like, were you, or who was, were you? For example, you can ask questions in the recent past. Imagine that you say, for example, were you, were you in your house, were you in your house when the class started? Okay, were you okay. in your house when the, when the class started? Yes, I was. Oh, yes? Were you watching the, were you watching the national TV chain that the president uh, have today? Okay, for example, or you can ask also, where were you? Where were you when uh, the president gave the news about the coronavirus today? Where were you? Where were, where where were you, you uh, uh, Ronnie? Uh, I was working. I was working, okay. And you, Yesenia, where were you? I was working too. You were working too. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. good. And Marlon, where were you? The name teacher. Where were you? Uh, where were you? Where were you when the president gave the news about the about the coronavirus this afternoon? I was working, but in the in my office we stopped the the job when the transmission began start, when the broadcasting started okay yes uh -huh. okay very good when the broadcasting started very good okay another question who can ask a question come on help me use your creativity where were you what were uh, for example what were your favorite TV programs when you were a teenager. What were your favorite TV programs when you were a teenager? Okay. Come on, say it. Easy teacher. Rosa, Rosa Salvaje. <laughs> so popular. Ah, I don't know. You just. What were your favorite programs or soap operas? What, what was your favorite soap opera when you were a teenager? For me, it was uh, Hellbangers MTV. Which one? TV is good. Hellbangers and MTV in that MTV. time. MTV. Oh yes, the MTV, right? Yeah. Yes, that was that was very famous in the eighties, nineties, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. And MTV was really good program. Yeah. More like oh. a little, a little bit bloody sometimes, right? Yeah, a little bit bloody, but no, it was good. What else? Another TV program that you were fond of that you liked a lot? In my case, teacher, uh -huh. my favorite program was Dragon Ball when I was a child. 
Okay, very good. When you were a child, okay, that was your TV program favorite. Okay, Jorge Alberto, any program that you had in in your list of preferences when you were a teenager or a child? I was a child. Uh, your list is 31. Yeah. Uh, you you yeah. said 31, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. Good. Good uh, <laughs> okay, good. And how about you, Sumara? What was my, my favorite program? Yes. Um, my favorite program program when I was a child is what? was uh, um the super girl power. <laughs> oh, okay, super girl power, power girls or something like that, right? Okay, yes. good. And Carlos, how about you? Carlos Alvarenga, what, what was, uh, who was, or which was your favorite program? No? Okay, probably not hearing. Okay, good. Then, uh, uh -huh. any other question? Okay, now, who wants to ask a question? I wanna give you 30 seconds, probably you can write, so you can think about one question, okay, to ask, the group. Remember you can use were you a good person, were you a good student, were you a good player, okay? Mm -hmm. Or you can also use uh, who was. What's your favorite band when you was a teenager? Uh -huh, okay, what was your favorite band when you were a teenager? Oh. Mana, I, I, I was Mana. Okay, yes, I loved Mana. I was. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Mana, oh, Mana, yeah. Mana was my favorite band. Okay. Mana is my favorite band. Okay. Listen to this question, everybody. Okay. And be honest. Okay. Listen. Okay. What song? Okay. What song made you cry when you were a teenager? <laughs> huh? Was there a song? Was there a song that made you cry? Okay, cry, you know, cry when you were a teenager. I think show me the meaning of battery boys. Oh, show me the meaning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I remember that song. That's in the nineties, right? Show me the meaning of being yeah. of being of being lonely, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey, okay, battery boys. Yes, that's a, a nice song. Okay, another one. Okay. Come on, Ronnie. What song made you cry when you were? Um, In my case, it was La Copa Rota. No. <laughs> 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 El el universo. <laughs> okay. That's another, the that's another one. Made, made me cry is uh, Mi Querido Viejo. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, the old man, right? Oh. The old man song. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's true. Okay, good. So no, you see this, no. <laughs> these are the kind of questions when we thought just in the past, you know, is bring some kind of nostalgia, right? Sometimes or memories, mm -hmm. good, bad, uh, probably just uh, any kind of things that we can remember from the past, right? For example, uh, who was your, uh, for example, who was your best friend when you were a child? Who was your best friend when you were a teenager? And who was your best friend when you got to the university? Because sometimes we change uh, friends according to the age, right? But in other cases, we have a friend that, you know, we met when we were probably four or five years old, and that person is still your best friend, okay? So there are different situations. Good. One more question. Uh, I don't know. Who wants to help me? Uh, okay. Where were you in the earthquake, the 2001? Where were you in the earthquake 2001? Yeah. During the earthquake 2001. In January. 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 Yes, January. Where was I? Uh, well, in my case, in my case, I, I was at the university. I was teaching a class at UCA. 
no, that day. I okay. was in the, my father, my grandfather's house. I was in my grandfather's house, okay. Anybody else? Where were you? I was in my house, I'm in Paris house. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? I was in Metro Centro. I was in Metro Centro. Okay, good. And who else? Who else? I remember that I was with, in my house. With and what I, happened? I can't remember anymore. Okay, good. You know, I remember I was in the university. Uh, and also, I, I, I remember that I was very, very scared. Okay, that I was very scared. Good. Okay, you know, uh, I remember that I was in the university and then I was in a small classroom. And then uh, first, you know, I evacuated the students and after me, okay? So then this, uh, I remember that, right? But it was, you know, very, uh, it was very, ex I mean, I think it was very long. It was like, I don't know, I don't remember exactly, but I felt that it was more than one minute. I don't know, but it was long, right? And scary. Yes. I was so scary. Because uh, I never uh, feel it. <laughs> okay, that was your first earthquake. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, your yeah. first your first experience. My okay. my, uh, my first experience in earthquake. Okay, that's good. Okay, <laughs> how about you, Carlos? Where were you in the during the earthquake in two thousand one? what two thousand one? Uh huh. Two thousand one. Where were you? In January. In January, uh, uh, I was in, in at work. Oh. I remember. I think it was when the huh? when the when the uh, terremoto. Earth, how do you earth, say earthquake? Terremoto? Earthquake. Earthquake. Uh -huh. When the earthquake happened. When the when the earthquake. Happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were at work. Okay. Yeah. Was it was it was it on a Saturday? Yes. Okay. Was yes, it? it was Saturday. Okay. What time? What time was it? Do you remember? I remember that eleven. It was eleven forty. Eleven and a half. Uh -huh. It was around approximately 11 and a half, right? Or 11.30. Yes. Okay. The second airport was uh, 8.30, right. I remember. In the morning, right? In the morning, yes, right? One I, month? I, was, I was in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. yes, I you remember that. Very, po very, po very punctual, very punctual. Okay, yes. uh, and it was, uh, for example, in that, it was one month after, right? It was yeah, yeah. There were two. Two. in February. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I remember that. Okay. Very good. Most that the one the the the, 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 the what? one more than the yeah, yeah, second. Well, yeah, I remember so most the second that the one that the first yeah. one. Okay. The first yeah, one. Too. <laughs> who remembers? Who remembers <laughs> the earthquake uh, in two thousand? No, in nineteen eighty six. October ten. I remember. I don't remember. You don't. <laughs> Okay, who remember that? Yesenia, you do remember? Yes, I remember. I was a child mm -hmm. and I was. Salía del colegio? I out. I was finishing school. I finished the school and I uh, was going went to, to, uh -huh. went to my house. Okay, good. Yes, I was a child too. I was I was I was you know I was do you know the uh, Repuesto Omar near Parque Cusatlan? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you remember mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I, I was there. I was there, you know, with a friend buying some in the street, buying some parts for the car when you know when the earthquake started. It was really, really, really strong right so i remember that was more yeah. scary than the one in 2001 for me right because you, i i you were you were by stolen part 
Yes, yes. <laughs> Come on, Ronnie. No. Don't, don't say it in the group. Don't say it in the group. <laughs> okay. With, with Ronnie, I have to be very careful, right? I have to be very careful. <laughs> no, it wasn't the story. I'm practice. I yes. invent. Oh, I practice. yes, I, I know. Yeah, good. Vocabulary. <laughs> He's an advanced student, okay? <laughs> oh, yes. And then, uh, yeah, I was buying part, uh, some parts in, in that place. I don't know if they were stolen, but I pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? What is another ship, memory? Shipper. I, I, no was, I, <laughs> I was yes. buying, buying eggs. Uh-huh. Where? In, yeah, uh, and they didn't break me. And they didn't break. Okay. You know, Jorge was no, buying eggs, they didn't but they didn't, they didn't break. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Excellent. How about you, Ruth? Where were you in the 1986 uh, earthquake? Ruth, are you there? No, probably she can't hear me, all right? Okay, good. So then, uh, well, these are some, uh, some examples that we can use. Now let's, uh, do you have any questions at this moment? No. No? Okay, no. so then uh, let's see. So there is a knowledge check. Tomorrow is gonna, is gonna be a day that we're going to be checking on this to see how you're doing, okay? Then lesson nine. Veronica, can you help me please reading this object okay. here? Okay. Build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements, negatives, and short answers with used to. Learn English phrases like, I used to be very messy when I was a, can, a kid, but now, I'm, um, now I am very neat, and I didn't use to follow politics, but now I read the newspaper every day, and oral English comprehension exercise is included. Is included. Okay. Now, what is the what is the let's say the the key? What is the main point in this objective? The practice of just used to. Used to. Okay. And what is used to? Is a phrase that we use to to talk about what? To indicate a habit. A habit that we, what? That you was doing in the past. Okay, it's a Continuing habit. Continuing to the present? Yes or no, or oh, no more? Mm. It's a habit that we yes, had in the past? Uh, but maybe finish in the past too. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So that's what you said. You do it in the past, you do it in the past, but now, you do not do it anymore. Exactly. Okay, very good. That's exactly right. So this is something that we used to do in the past, okay? But now we don't. For example, you know, I, I used to smoke. I used to smoke uh, when I was a teenager, right? But now I don't. Okay, so that means that in one period of my life, I smoked. But now no more. Okay, so then this is, uh, for example, when we use uh, this this phrase "used to." Okay, but let's listen to some examples, and after I will show you a PowerPoint. Class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using "used to." Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. 
as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just following the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used. And after that, I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. Video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. It used to refer to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining the positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There we go. So subject in our sentence is I am going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows these two. And then we have the verb to be. Now, this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example complement. That, and so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to. Um, and well, we follow the structure. Um, we have a subject. Then the we have the verb in the present tense. Okay, one thing that is important to probably to let's say to reinforce here is that the position, right? If you see subject and you see, for example, the used to is in past, right? Because it's an affirmative sentence. Okay, I used to play. Okay, a lot of sports when I was a kid. That means that probably now you don't. I used to be a very messy, okay, not organization in my life. But now I am very neat. Okay, this usually happens. But if you see, for example, they are using the verb in past, which used now. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how we're going to make negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. Include didn't in the uh, 
it will not have the subject plus didn't and then used to will be in the present it's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements okay yes that's what i wanted also to emphasize right now that we have a negative didn't and used to it's similar to the negative and affirmative sentences when you say for example i i didn't play soccer yesterday or affirmative i played soccer yesterday so in this case it's similar right i used to and i didn't use to okay so the same structure the same rule basically doesn't change then you have act anything but I do now. There we go. Okay, and this is what you know. Veronica was telling me at the beginning. Okay, the first sentence or the first part of the idea is in past tense. I didn't use to collect anything. Okay, have it in the past. Correct. But I do now. But in the present, I change that. And now I do it. In the first sentence, I didn't use, okay, to follow, say, politics. Okay, I didn't use to follow politics, but now I read the newspaper every day. Okay? And then this is, for example, when you see the combination of what you did in the past and what you don't do now or the opposite what you didn't do in the past but now you do it okay this is how we change uh this idea of present and past affirmative or negative there we go. and there is one last way on how to express negative statements and that is using never used to and it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports. Okay, but now I play every day. So we can also make negative statements using never used to. Okay, so the subject plus never used to. And that's going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complement exists. I never used to play sports. I never used to worry about money. I never used to play sports. But now I play tennis, just like you see on the example there. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play sports? Did you used to have a pet did you used to play video games and also mention the things that you didn't used to do when you were a child so for example i never used to collect anything okay and now i will show you this Okay, this presentation, right? So remember, this is the one I showed you yesterday. I will send you this through the WhatsApp group, okay? So that you can have it and, and review. In this case, for example, there is, this is a pronunciation, remember? And then after this, an exercise. Do the exercise in your notebook. And after, you can see the answers here, right? But first, you do the exercise to practice. And after, you can check the answers, all right? And this is a list of uh, verbs, okay? These are irregular verbs, okay? For example, arise, arose, arisen, be, was, were, been. So for you to have it in your, you know, in your files. These are the questions that we practiced yesterday, it's past tense. And this is the simple past two. Okay, and this is just two, okay. Look at that picture. Okay. Yesenia, can you read it, please? Um, looked, looked at that. 
I used to wear a baggy bag, baggy jeans. Okay, good. Okay, do you remember the baggy jeans in the eighties, more or less? No. No, you don't remember. Okay, the baggy jeans were the jeans that were, you know, like a, like a bag, and then uh, very loose. Okay, you know, loose like very flojos, right? You know, they just wear baggy uh -huh. jeans. Okay. So the guy used to wear baggy jeans, but he had no no belly, okay? Mm. But now he has a big belly, okay? So no more baggy jeans. Okay, uh, Roddy, can you read this? The man. Is Ronnie still here? Ronnie is gone. Okay, yes, it's not here. Then, uh, Xiomara, can you please read it? The man. Okay. The man is thinking about. Uh huh. It's the same. Uh, ha, Adib, he was now. Uh, Adib, he had in the past. Okay, very good. When he says this, he's speaking about a habit that he has in this moment or a habit that he had in the past. He had in the past. Okay. I used to, right? I used to yeah. wear baggy jeans. For example, you know, I used to have, I used to have uh, long hair, right? Well, first of all, I, I used to have more hair, but now and then when I was a teenager, <laughs> and when I was a teenager, yes, I had more, I used to have more. And then when I was a teenager, I used to have long hair, okay? So much more, <laughs> much okay. more hair. Okay, so here you can see the affirmative statement, I used to wear jeans, right? Then you can also see the negative statement, I didn't used to, no D, wear jeans. For just no questions, did you used to wear jeans? Yeah. Did she used to wear jeans? Okay, uh, for example, uh, did your parents, did your parents, father, mother, used to yeah. wear jeans? This question is for Carlos. Carlos, did your parents used to wear jeans? Uh, my my parents used to jeans. Used to wear jeans? Yes. Used to wear jeans. Yeah. Okay, good. You know, my parents they they never used to wear jeans. I never saw my father or my mother, you know, wearing jeans. My mother always wore uh, used to wear. Uh, dresses or skirts okay mm -hmm. and, and my father he always used to wear uh, casual clothes or or formal formal pants you know like slacks trousers you know very formal in those days okay so then you can use yes no questions right for example did you used to smoke did you used to drink did you used to uh, let's say a uh, uh, work uh, when you were in the in the school for vacation part-time part job part time. and then you get the answer is yes i did no i didn't okay or wh questions what did you use to wear okay what did you use to wear uh, for example when you were in high school mm -hmm. what did you use to wear When you went to a party, okay, remember your parties in the school, what did you use, what did you use to wear? I used to wear jeans. Okay, I used to wear jeans. And makeup. And makeup, a lot of makeup or a little makeup? <laughs> huh? Makeup. Makeup. As I was remember, I used my hair like this. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what was that? Yes. Okay. When so, I was a child, I, I used my hair. You used to. Um, okay. <laughs> like a, how do you call that? How do you call it in Spanish? Fleco. No, I don't know if it's a fleco, but it's a fleco levantado. No se acuerdan. 
Bucle. 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 I used to and tennis. I used to, I used to wear. I used to, I used to wear uh, jeans, t-shirt, and tennis. Okay, very good. Okay, what are the things that you remember that you used to do? For example, uh, well, remember that now we. I want you to think about things about the past. You can say, for example, uh, there used to be. Right? You know, there used to be. Used there, to be. There used to be. No. Okay, wait a minute. When 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 I a child? Yes, wait, wait, just let me uh, wait a minute. Just yes. see yeah. all right. Then. <laughs> huh? I, I used to to be a rebel. rebel. For example, here. Oh, no. Can you can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, this is something that we have here. I used to. Okay, but I cannot. Okay. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. Okay, you still see it, right? Because I wanted to. No. Okay, I won't be able to show you this. Okay, let me choose this one. Just the geography stuff. But the uh, computer is not helping me now. Yeah. Another presentation. No, it doesn't let me show you what I want. Okay. But then uh, let me see here now. Probably this one. Now you can, right? There used to be. Okay, this is the person I wanted to show you. What is there used to be? Yeah. We say there used to be a, a what? There used to be a store where, where they sold a boots. Okay. Do you remember the name of that store? Charro. El Charro. Very good. Okay. Charro. They say there used to be a store where they sold boots. Okay. Where? Where was the store? Near? Near the park. Near the? The park. Which park? Um. Libertad. Libertad. Okay, there was one there. <laughs> I don't there was, remember. <laughs> yes, there was there was another one nearby the uh, uh, Mercado Central, right? The Central Market. Yeah. Okay, but you see, for example, there the used market, to be, yeah. when you say, for example, there used to be, you use it when you say solía haber, right? Mm. 
there used to be a store, there used to be a, a place where they sold this, okay? There used to be a magazine. Uh, do you, there used to be a magazine uh, where you could see all the, uh, let's say the, the programs on TV. That was the name was TV, TV, TV Guide. Guide. TV guy, okay, TV yeah. guy, right? So yeah. there used to be a magazine here, okay? So you can use this vocabulary or these expressions, you know, to remember things about the past, okay? There used to be the, uh, my sister used to, okay? In any, uh, anything that you want to express. Okay, do you have any questions? No? We're clear. Okay, then I will send you right now the the PowerPoint so that you can take a look at it. And tomorrow okay. we're going to have a practice, especially in two two. Okay, so okay. we're gonna think about the past tense, and we are going to ask questions, and we're going to make sentences uh, using a uh, just to. Okay. Okay. That's all for today, guys. So I'll see you tomorrow. Ah, and tomorrow we're going to uh, do the do the uh, knowledge checks because tomorrow we're going to review and see how you have done it, right? And if you have any questions about the knowledge check, okay? Okay. okay. All right, people. So have a okay. good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Okay. Bye. -bye.